Hello again! So Kane run. I thought we'd do it. I said I'd take a bit of a break from Isaac, so I have done. Uh, oh, we're very fast now. Um, which means, basically, I'm playing... Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but we might as well check. It means I'm playing when I want to play, not when... Not all the time, basically. Not every single day. I don't feel like I... I don't want to feel like I have to play. Um, help. Wow, do not like those things. Hmm. We should look for a tinted drop with this bomb. So, yeah, sometimes you're not in a headspace and sometimes you are. I'm not even sure if I am right now, but I want you to play. I can just leave me alone. Help, <laughs> rocks. I've had, I've been guilty of not really watching what I'm doing on, um, on, on our runs here. So, a little bit more paying attention would go down well, I think. That's everything. I'll do the boss. Boss is pin. So, yeah, a little bit more observancy. It's so fast now with this speedball. But I like it. I mean, it's easy to get out of the way with. Provided I see what I'm getting out of the way. Oh, pin is a nice, easy fight, though, by and large, unless it does that annoying thing where it jumps from the edge of the screen sort of trolls you from the edge of the screen, and PJ's a perfect pickup at this time because it's given us those four spirit hearts. Monsieur, with these four spirit hearts, you are really spoiling us. Ah, oh, Papa, Nico. Oh no, that's different French advert. Sorry, my mistake. Uh, if, I, if some people are not in England, <laughs> or, you know, any proper part of the world, that's uh, an advert, commercial, whatever you want to call it, in the UK, we'll probably not take that. If I'm going to be sensible about this. Uh, one of them was a Renault advert. Papa, Nicole. And the other one was... Oh, my God. Ferrero Rocher. Those uh, extremely overpriced chocolates that are basically just um, Maltesers, as far as I can tell. Which I prefer. Maltesers, I mean. I prefer Maltesers. Telepills. Into the boss fight. Right, well. I guess we'll be uh, fighting Little Holm right now, then. Little Hall would care to grace us with his explosions in his own face. Yeah, perfect. Twice in a row. Couldn't ask for more. Deal with this. Deal with this. Stop it. Enough. Die. I have to shoot the boss once in a while to make this whole affair end. Ooh. We're very fast, actually. But we could do that. That really, really helps. That's why we like speed. But at the same time... I don't like it that much. Nice try, little horn, but you were over a pit, and it doesn't work on a pit, apparently. Uh, I want to get rid of that. Thank you. Do that thing that you did before, where you blew yourself up. Good job. I really need some to die. I'm hoping that the item room on this room is something decent. Oh, he did it. Thank you. I probably don't really want that, but I probably want both of these, so we'll take this. And we'll take this. Incubus is probably one of my favourite items. Notwithstanding the fact that, as Lilith, you have to use Incubus, and therefore you tend to get some good practice as using it. If you're not Lilith, it's a good practice that's taken the stupidest damage ever. If you're not Lilith, it's literally just a second set of tears, because it completely has every tear effect that you have. And we've seen what happens if you can get BFFs, so if we can get BFFs on this run, I'm going to be super stoked about that. Uh, help. Wow, I did well for once. Unfortunately, that button does not actually... Uh, I think we'll leave, actually. We want to do bus rush. We are only going to mom, mom's, mom's foot, after all. Uh, I don't want that. Uh, yeah. No, forgotten. <laughs> Let's move on. Whatever train of thought I just lost, we'll just derail it. It's gone. Passengers are all dead. It's too late. There's nothing we can do. We don't have a TARDIS. Uh, yeah, I didn't get hit. Um, just gonna chalk that up to the the god of the. Let's just say I was praying vehemently to R and Jesus earlier on today, and he has seen fit to no. I mean, no. We're only going to the the mom the mom fight, so we need to get a press on to make sure that we are there in time for boss rush, because that's going to be where all the points are. Again, I'm playing less often and more sort of casually. I wanted to play a lot to begin with, just to try and have a video every day, but I've realised that when you get into a slump, which happens, Isaac players, every player on everything ever, will get into a slump. Uh, 
on what they usually consider themselves to be good at. Uh, I, not to say that I consider myself to be good at Isaac. Um, if you check out Greed, but you'll see that I have just about scraped the top 20%, which is compared to you know the other 20% above me, not that great. Um, but you no, know, some days we have really good runs. Some days we have pretty terrible runs. This is a very fast version of this particular uh, Lord of the Flies, Duke of Flies thingy. Really should not be getting hit by spiders at your stage of game. Like I said, in a bit of a slump. I still feel like I'm in a bit of a slump, but... Well, there's two things here. First of all, you play more to get out of the slump. And secondly, it doesn't matter. Recognise that you're in a slump, keep playing, see how well you do. At some point, you'll be out of the slump. But not if you just sort of stop playing, right? But now I actually feel a little bit more like actually playing the game. And we did get Head of Krampus just now, which certainly makes me want to play the game because Head of Krampus is a stupendously fun item. And there's actually 15 cents, which is great because there's a shop here. Uh, and a nun's habit of 7 cents is probably worthwhile, if I had to guess, which I do. A friend of mine said, do you intentionally channel Northern Lion when you play Isaac? No. <laughs> Not intentionally, but I can understand that that might be a concern. Uh, obviously, I've watched more Northern Lion than basically any... Thanks, game. Thanks. Game. More Northern Lion than any other content creator of anything, let alone Isaac. Before I started watching Isaac, I watched a lot of Minecraft videos, so obviously Yost cast hat films. Uh, let's do it. It's some points, and I think we're strong enough to sort it out. Um, watch a bit of one of Jeff for a while, who put me onto Northern Lion. Started watching Northern Lion, couldn't stop watching Northern Lion, so now I sound like Northern Lion. It happens. He's the only person that I have any yeah, who has any influence on my commentary at the moment, especially when it comes to Isaac. I think we're um, I think we're just at that level now in the run. Let's talk about the run. Let's see what's really happening on the screen right now. We're at a good level where our damage is not per se stupendous, but our rate of fire has gone through the roof. We have Incubus backing us up, essentially doubling our rate of fire. Uh, we've got Curse of the Maze fast forwarding us through rooms. So I think we're strong enough now to really Accelerate. We've got a lot of momentum behind us. We probably should look for a secret room, but I'm not too bothered. Could be points in it, could be negative points. There's points for finding it. But I think we did that entire room just now. That entire floor. Uh, which... Boom. Points. Um, having done the entire floor, I think benefits us in the exploration way uh, enough that I don't need to worry about secret rooms. That secret room is interesting. Normally I wouldn't do this room, by the way. Two bosses for a grey chest. But you do get a bunch of points for completing these rooms. And as I was saying earlier, our rate of fire, and therefore DPS, is sufficient that I don't think that we're going to have too much trouble actually achieving the, necess the necessary According to Northern Lion, by the way, everyone in England says necessary instead of necessary. So, we wouldn't want him to feel like we don't care. So in order to prove him right, I think we should all start saying necessary. Her throat rune. Well, we'll take this pill then. It's paralysis. It's not really a rune that I'd be... Uh, not really a pill that I'd be too happy to select for myself. Uh, given the opportunity, I'd rather have maybe paracetamol. Something like that. But we know about it now, so we don't have to take it again in a bad situation, which is fine. We seem to be strong enough to not take stupid damage from spiders, which is really where I want to be. <laughs> as long as we can one-shot spiders, or essentially one-shot them, which is to say that we're shooting so fast that we can't tell how many shots it takes. I really hate keepers. I haven't seen them for a while. Um, then we're doing well. Having an Incubus backing you up, but also being able to shoot tears out of your own actual face is sort of the best of both worlds. Lilith, as a character, obviously can't shoot tears out of her own face, but does have the Incubus backing her up. I don't really want anything from that, uh, that shot, so I'm going to just say no. 
Say no, kids. Say no to bad deals in shops. Hmm, if only. Did we pick up our item room yet? No. So we can per throw the item room if we think it's bad. If, we, if it's maybe a spacebar item that we would rather not take over Heather Krampus. I feel like this is probably the boss direction. That was bad damage, but it helps. So I'm going to call it tactical damage instead. And hope that I'm forgiven by viewers that I do have. For walking into a room and exploding a fly in my face. Which is not something that happens very often. Oh, of course we have the paper clippers um, as canes. So we can always open these golden chests. Which is nice. But it's not been... It's not been too much of a concern so far, but I have to worry about the fact that I haven't been doing it. Let's just get rid of this fight. There we go. The screw is great, and this is ah possibly actually slightly better than Krampus's head. I'm not sure. Get rid of that. I'm going to take it. Uh, it was probably a terrible idea because of how few HPs we have, but at the same time, we can come back up here and probably buy the Spirit Heart from the shop. That was actually very dangerous because I hadn't really considered the amount of HP I have. I was too excited to get Book of Belial, so if I had not had enough HP... Oh, we don't have a spirit heart. <gasps> well, balls of steel, look down. Well, it's the same thing, right? Balls of steel, look down. Not that far apart. Not that much different from one another, huh? Uh, per throw. Ooh, yes. So maybe we should be very careful for a while until we can find a source of HP, which is the French for HP. That was lucky. This was not so lucky because it doesn't contain any HP for us. We should take this when we've picked up everything else. It is balls of steel. Oh, he called it wrong pill, right idea. Totally called it though. Sorted. Right, 3 HP. None of it red HP. No dark bum to help us out. So we don't have a huge amount of survivability. Our, our HP is not replenishable. Which is an issue. I like this. Creepy Bombs is pretty decent. Uh, and Book of Belial will just help us through this room slightly faster. I'm quicker than I anticipated myself being. I keep forgetting how fast I am. I do find speed is actually a, a problem if you have too much of it. Uh, of course I'm talking about the physical property of Vitesse. Vitesse? Uh, rather than the, the hardcore, illegal, illicit substance. But uh, I believe it's true of both, but in this case the actual you know, acceleration that we perform on our character when we press the direction keys is the primary concern rather than well, when we get speed ball, which I suppose references column A. But whatever. Let's uh, blow these things up. There we go. No HP for me, but that's fine. We've got infinite keys for this floor. Uh, and since we have apparently left behind the lockpick, that's pretty nice. What did I drop by accident? Ah, store credit, right. Where did store credit go? Because I don't remember buying anything. <laughs> what did I buy from the store? Oh, I bought the pill. That was daft. Should have kept store credit. Should have dropped it. Picked up the pill. Now that I realise I've done it, I want to go back in time and undo it, but things have bothered me more than this in the past, I'll be honest. So I'm just going to leave it be. Ah, this is also HP, which is helpful because we're not SMB Superfan, because recently we had an Eve run where SMB Superfan made it difficult to stay in the Horror Babylon mode. I suddenly go, ooh, I'm scared of this. No, it's fine. We don't mind the HP. In fact, it's probably going to help us. With Book of Belial, even though they've nerfed it, we don't get guaranteed devil deals anymore. Uh, it's not so nerfed that it doesn't increase our chances of getting a devil deal. This fucking room, though. Alright, get rid of that. You can hit them from the side, but it's more difficult. So you have to sort of tempt them into chasing you. This one is a particular pain in the ass because you have to shoot it from a fucking distance. Ah, this is great. I like Humbling Bundell. And I like to a space. Well, I do like to a space. We might as well use it now. Speeds. Uh, what are we on? Depths one at 13 minutes. We've got time to view the rest of the floor. We're sightseers. You know, we're tourists. We're here to gain XP in terms of exploration. If you consider, oh, careful. 
If you consider the points, your XP, for the end of the game, therefore your exploration XP, like when you find a new area in World of Warcraft and presumably Guild Wars, that sort of game, you get an exploration bonus. And the bonus for doing the stuff in the first... Ooh, didn't really judge that very well, but that's okay. I'm going to guess that possibly these explosions are worth the worth the cost of doing it. We'll take the moon card. It might be next to this curse room, which it is. Uh, I don't think this is infinite keys for this floor. Great spiders. Uh, this is probably not worth the effort or the time or everything else, but we can go in here and we can get more trolley stuff. Perfect. Well, that was definitely worth all the time we invested in doing it. Let's take our Wheel of Fortune card and bounce. What am I going to do with the Wheel of Fortune card over every other card that we've had? Well, literally nothing of benefit, I expect. However, we don't know that. Gush. With the Book of Belial and double damage and the occasional tooth shot, which is... I think Kane is the one with the good luck stat, so... Uh, that's luck as in fortuit fortu fortu fortuitousness, not luck as in, you know, looking good. Have you got any guppy items at all? No. So I'm just not going to take either of those and keep ourselves alive where possible. We're very fast, um, but I've managed to... Yeah. This is that room where you go, oh shit, it's this room, and then it's too late. <laughs> uh... I've managed to squander the depths too. Wow. Good job. <laughs> that ghost was in exactly the right position. I didn't even realise. I've managed to squander depths too in less than five minutes. Nothing from four things. So, I guess there is every chance that I royally screw this up. But I at least am this time aware that we're going to boss rush. Well, this is nice. I guess we can do it. I don't think we can get the Tinted Rock over here, which is a shame. We can probably buy a Spirit Heart, which I will. And I quite like Nightlight, even though it's going to cost us money and therefore points. It got us through a hush fight really well one time. Uh, yeah, walk into the... So I'll put this down and then blow this up and try and find a secret room at the same time. No secret room there, that's okay. Give me the stuff though, thank you. I really hate the uh, tractor beam turret thingies. Dissipate creep, thank you. Could have probably stood, stood to use the uh, Book of Belial here. But I didn't. Not a major misplay, I think. Well, why not? Again, I still expect that I'm in the slump that I originally said I was in. So, as a result, I'm going to suggest that... Wow, what happened? Uh, perhaps... I, I don't need to worry about my points, is what I'm saying. But I would like to worry about not dying. Karma. Karma up. Well, we're not really using bombs. We might as well see if we can get something good out of this. I don't know what it does. But I guess we'll find out. So I don't want to worry myself about whether I'm going to do really, really well in terms of points. I'd like to try and maintain a top 20% position. But, you know, when you're in a slump, you're in a slump. When we come out of the slump, we'll be doing amazingly well, like we did earlier on. Um, you know, top 100 positions, top 0.1, well, top 1% of some of the runs, if you believe greedbutt.com, which I do because it puts me in good positions all the time. We have so many s keys, why would we not do this, hey? Uh, right. <laughs> because of that appalling situation there, I suppose, would be a, a good answer. Two more Spirit Hearts is actually a really good haul for us right now. Which is something I am pretty sure Northern Line says on a very regular basis. So you can see where I get my inspiration from for the commentary I witter off as I try to think of something to say whilst playing a game that is essentially just played. I did everything except the curse room. I probably could have stood to go to the curse room now I look at it. Uh, just because right at the end of the game here we got all those extra Spirit Hearts. But whatever. 
I can't imagine it would have given us a huge benefit, even if it did have something other than troll bombs and spiders in it. I hate this thing. There you are. When the foot hasn't fallen, you know, you can make jokes about waiting for the other suit to drop. Which I, I will. I was waiting for the other foot to foot to drop to. Chocolate milk, I think, maybe the best. Oh, maybe marked. What's this one called? Dead eye? Dead eye's good. Chocolate milk is good. I'm gonna go with dead eye. Um, because if we can actually succeed in accuracy, then we have. Oh, we should use this. Twice as much power there. Oh, yeah. Don't stand below the dark one. So stop shooting. Wait for it. Are we really getting a full charge for every single. Wait. That's amazing. What have, we, what have we done to deserve that? I don't have any special items that charge extra, do I? Hey! I correctly surmised that that attack would be the horizontal attack. It looks like our Incubus does not benefit from Deadeye. At least not the Deadeye that... Oh. See, I keep shooting when it's dead, and that's a problem. Uh, because... <laughs> All the shots that would have hit it now miss and cause me to lose my dead eye. It's not a problem. I can't really. It'd be disingenuous of me to suggest that losing the dead eye bonus is ever going to be a problem on this fight. I think for once we're doing a boss rush with good amount of damage, and the good amount of damage is actually a good amount of damage. E.g., that Samson run recently where we had the maximum bonus from uh, from bloody lust because we kept getting hit so damn much, and yet. I think I was still doing less damage than this. So I've noticed that part of my commentary is basically going over previous runs and saying how shit that run was. Well, when you're doing really well on a run and there's not much to say, I suppose that's all you can do. Right, let's wait for this thing to land somewhere sensible. Stick its head up. There we go. Right, pop your head up. Where is it? It's not going to pop its head up. Well, I'll kill it anyway. Whatever. Pretty sure Book of Belial doesn't stack, and I don't think it does any damage on activation, so... But it's active, we might as well use it anyway. I think it was a better play to take Book of Belial than um, Head of Krampus when we did. Even though it put us in a very dangerous situation in terms of the fact that we didn't have any HP left afterwards. What's the other enemy here? Oh. Uh, excuse me? No, thank you. Um, uh, I think it was... It's just a generally more valuable item for long rooms like this one. Unfortunately, now that they've buffed Bosphorus, and therefore you get... Oh, that was really bad dodging. Which you expect from me, so... Yeah, big fucking surprise, right? Now that they've buffed Bosphorus to give you charges on your items as you do it, I guess it's not necessarily all that important to have something like Book of Belial at the start of it, when you can use Krampus's head every three waves. Or maybe every two waves. I'm not quite sure how this is working right now. Where's the other one? But I think the damage bonus from Book of Belial is sufficiently good that we can not worry about the fact we could have had Head of Krampus right now. Stain can go fuck itself, please. At least something like the Stain when it's standing still. See that? I dodged that. On purpose, I might add. When something like the Stain is standing still, we can get a good dead eye benefit. Which just makes it die faster, so I'm happy with that. I mean, it doesn't look like our Incubus is getting the dead eye benefit, but it may well be. Now, which one would you kill first here? Neither of them are good at <clears throat> if you can't see them. This is not fill me full of confidence, but we took them both out without taking damage, which is miraculous in some respects. Uh, I managed to get hit, of all things, by the hollow. So we'll just... let's not speak of this day. Ever again. Just on that, I'm not going to upload this episode. Oh, we're done. We win. <laughs> yeah, big, good fucking... nice one. Dick. Well, we didn't get a Perthro room, we didn't get a spade. I guess we'll just end. 17,000 is not many... oh, 19,000 is not many points. 2,000th. We'll see how other people did. I expect a lot of people got a lower damage bonus, but I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people found a way through to the next floor. Yeah, there's enough 38,000 scores for me to believe that there was a, uh, maybe a blank card AWAS or just a shovel somewhere. But we didn't find it. 
These people probably did. Oh well. I mean, 3,000 out of... What did we get? Mine. 2,100 2, out of, I think, 30,000 people play these things. It's still a good position. So I'm still pleased with it. We haven't completely slumped back down to the 10,000s where we used to be. So I'll call that a win. And I'll call that. I'll see you tomorrow.